Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be discussing something that I didn't even realize existed until we got a free package of it from our good friends over at Fun Creek Hole. And if you haven't heard of them, check out my two other videos that I'll put in the description that we did two of the reviews on uh, uh, two different types of resin that they make, which are really great. They also supplied us with those resins for free. Thank you all so much for that. We appreciate it. We always like testing out new flavors. Anyway, the point is, is, like I said, I didn't know this stuff existed. It's called resin. It's UV resin putty. And essentially, this is made to help you with your finishing work. So I decided to test it against my usual method, which is taking a bit of resin itself that we use on the printers and then kind of putting it where you want and then using that as kind of like a gap filler and stuff like that. So anyway, we're going to do uh, some show and tell here. I'll give you guys some video here a little bit, and you can take a look and see the difference between the two methods. And um, I personally think the uh, putty is nice because it gives you some flexibility. You can kind of manipulate it. You can make it into things. You can make a shape out of it. You can fill a hole really easy. Um, whereas a liquid, you kind of have to mess with um, layer by layer, piece by piece, and you kind of have to kind of like whoosh it in and then kind of like cure it and then put a little bit more and then kind of cure it and then put a little bit more and cure it. So that process is a bit, eh, you know, I get tired of it. This is like a semi-transparent, it's an opaque kind of material. So you just force it into wherever you want it, um, clean it off a little bit if you need to, and then cure it a little bit longer than you would like just resin, like more than like a couple seconds. Um, and then you're going to want to sand away any of the excess, obviously, as you would. And I'll, I'll demonstrate in the video. And let's, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and cut that to, to that so you, you all can see what I'm talking about. Okay, and uh, here we're going to take a look at the Gwen model that I was showing off in the thumbnail. And I'll try to be as discreet as possible with this one. Anyway, the seams here on the arms, leg seams, stuff like that. Perfect thing for this putty. Um, so when Fun Creek Cole told me that this stuff was coming, I was like, oh, cool, this sounds great. I envisioned this as being sort of like a green stuff for UV resin. And I wasn't wrong. It's pretty much like that. It's a little stickier. Uh, and of course, you're using gloves when you play around with this stuff. So <clears throat> um, there's that as well. So don't go barehanded. Uh, it definitely is. It does contain resin for sure. And um, anyway, this is the little putty tin that it comes in. Uh, I don't know if this is the actual packaging. They sent me this as a freebie. Uh, this will become available on their Amazon store this week. I will try to get a link and put it in the description for you. You will need a UV flashlight like this or some UV curing system of some sort. And again, we're going to work on the seams here. I'm going to show you an example. So we would normally use like a liquid resin like this. I just pour that and then I would apply it with a Q-tip. And then I would do a little curing on it. And I apologize, I did that off camera. I'm going to do a few examples of this on camera so you will be able to see what I'm talking about. Um, again, let me move this putty out of the way. I don't want to harden that. <laughs> I don't want to mess that up. Whole tin of putty ruined because I'm dumb. Anyway, so yeah, we would take the Q-tip. We would dab it over the area. Sorry about the focus issue. My camera was not playing nice with me today. Uh, but you get the general idea. Then you take your UV flashlight and cure that area. Now, once you put all the resin in that area you want, then you go ahead and grab your sanders and you start sanding away until you get back to your original smooth surface area because that's going to be a little lumpy, essentially. Uh, it's also going to have a little bit of residue on it, so feel free to uh, clean it off with a little bit of alcohol or at least rub it clean um, with your glove so you can get that off and then vigorously sand like a crazy person. Actually, this is sped up. That's not me. I don't move that fast. I am not Sonic the Hedgehog. Anyway, the, essentially, you want to sand it down as smooth as you can. You want to try and... And, and I'm rotating between two grits here. Um, I have a 180 and a 200. And that's usually what I rotate through just to get the seaming done. And I, I just want to get it to the point where when I run my hand along the seam, I can't feel it. That's pretty much what I'm going for. So if I can accomplish that, we're in good, good shape. Um, now, let's try the putty... And we'll show you the difference here. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to give this another touch here. A little, little sandy sand. And again, this is, again, I'm rotating between 180 and 200 grit. So now on the, on the secondary. And again, you know, you're going to be able to tell the difference between the resin spots that you've added and the non-resin spots. And once you sand that clean... you're going to have a nice looking uh, flat seam there that's going to work. And when you paint over it, you're never going to know that it was there. 
It's great. It's a wonderful way to do it. Bit of a time consumer because of how many layers sometimes you have to apply to certain areas. So let's try the putty and see if this works. And again, now I'm going to judge based on feel. You won't be able to, it's, it's hard to, to see because sometimes you can't see. But um, yeah, try using the dabbing tools, the clay dabbing tools there, whatever you call those little dabbers that you dab the clay with. Um, that didn't work. So I just used my finger. I took a little bit, put it on the glove, and then I kind of smooched it all over that seam. And then I just got the excess off as best as I could. And yeah, this is a bit of a messy process, but um, I think my second attempt will probably be a little bit cleaner. And then I was like, all right, whatever, let's just cure it. And I'll just sand the little bumps off or whatever. So I don't think I put the light on long enough because some of it was still a little too soft here. And so I think I added a little bit more time and I cured the some of the sections a little bit longer because I felt like it was still too soft. Like it didn't quite harden. Yeah. Now, again, uh, I think they recommend between 8 to 12 seconds on the actual curing time. And I wasn't giving it nearly that long on my first couple shots. So in the defense of the product, it was not its fault. I was actually using it wrong. Now, the second run of me curing and running over with the sandpaper, or the sanding stick, rather, I was actually quite impressed with the way this was starting to feel because after only one pass and one sand over, it was already starting to feel like it was almost paintable. Uh, so I was already, I was pretty impressed. Like, I could not feel the seam... So one pass of this stuff had cleaned it up enough. And, uh, yeah, I was impressed. This is uh, pretty good stuff. This is a very, very good product. I recommend this for finishing. Uh, if you're looking to fill, gap fill, hole fill, uh, repair, like a print that didn't go right, that sort of thing, beautiful. Works great for um, for stuff like this, leg seams, arm seams, ah, oh, I mean, you see, you see how it, it's, now it's, like I said, it's difficult to see, but you can see where it is covering where the seam doesn't exist. And the other side, I still got this whole other section. I got to keep sanding away. I've got resin cured over here. I'm going to have to go around the whole leg one little drop at a time. Now, to be honest, I'd much rather do it this way where I'm actually just kind of getting the putty into where I want to get it into, smooshing it into the seam, then applying the cure time all the way around, sanding off the excess that I put on there, and having just a wonderfully clean seam. So I highly recommend checking out the product, uh, the UV Resin Putty by Fun Creek Cole. Uh, like I said, I'm going to check out their Amazon store and see if I can find the link for it. I was told it was going to be available this week, so I will find out if that was actually the case, and I will get you all a link to the product for that so you guys can check it out yourself. I don't know the cost. I will try to find that out as well and list that in the description of the video. It's very tacky and squishy. Um, so I also wanted to play around with it here and see if we could maybe mold a shape. So I, I mold like a very crude little wad of it here. I wouldn't call that a ball. It's just a wad. And then I just put the curing light on it for quite a bit. So I was like, all right, this is a bit of a wad. So I wanted to see if this would harden all the way through. I was curious to see... Like, is it going to have a soft, squishy center? Or because it's opaque, it's going to let all that light travel through. So, it's pretty hard. Like, that's that's like a little rock um, in between my fingers there. So, I, I would say that that gets to a very nice hardness level where it's definitely going to be consistent with whatever resin you're using. It's going to be nice and tough. And once you paint over it, you're not going to know. Uh, again, you're going to need that UV curing light as well. That is an important piece of equipment. And... Again, I'll try to get all the links for all this stuff, the, um, the little clay tools that I was using or demonstrating there. I didn't actually use those because I couldn't get it out of the tin using those, and I just decided to use my hands anyway. So, hey, whatever. You either get in there with your hands and get, get it, you know, do it, uh, you know, get it done or try to find another way to do it. But make sure you wear your gloves. This stuff is just like handling resin, so follow the same procedures. Anyway, so that's all there is for this episode. I just want to say that I uh, want to give a big shout out. Thanks to Fun Creek Hall. Thanks so much for sending the free product. The UV resin was great. 
I'm sure I'm going to get a million and one uses out of it in my shop. And I think it's, it's a good product for anyone who's using uh, UV resin printing. I think it's a good product to have for finishing and that sort of thing. It's very good uh, as far as the cure time. That seemed to not be a problem once I got that. You know, once I was actually following the instructions, I was in a much better place. Um, so that was good. The overall, I think uh, I'm going to give it like an eight out of 10. I think it was a really good product. It's not perfect. Um, I would approve, I would like to have something that's maybe a little less sticky, but I don't know if that's possible because I think generally given the state of the product that you're trying to turn into like a UV curable putty, I think there's going to be some level of stickiness to it, but it did stick to the gloves a lot, which was kind of annoying. And then I had to wind up changing gloves in, in between once I did that. Um, so that was kind of a frustrating thing. But overall, though, I'm going to say the product is definitely good. Well worth taking a look at. Highly recommend it. And Fun Greek is a great company. They make great resins uh, and, and other products as well. Um, so I highly re recommend checking them out. They, they, uh, they have uh, sent us this, this, this for free as well as a bunch of other resins in the past. Again, we big shout out to them. Thank you so much for sharing that stuff with us, and we really appreciate it. And thank you to everybody else who's been watching the channel and for all the love, support, and comments. I appreciate it a lot. I hope that you all are still getting a lot out of these episodes, and I hope to be making some more content as we uh, continue to roll the channel. Thanks so much. See you again soon.